come closer. You have to listen to this woman. The longer you stay living with a man and not married to him, the less and less and less he loses respect for you. That is why it is so easy for them to walk away after you've been living together for what? Four years, five years, six years, seven years. He can walk away. He doesn't have to give you anything. And he's taking everything from you. Oh, he's already locked you up two or three times too, hasn't he? Yeah. Under the eyes of the law, you are considered nothing. Oh yeah, you're probably the mother of his child, but under the eyes of the law of this land, ma'am, you are considered nothing. The child. Is what would get the benefits. But you as a wife, what have you done? You as a girlfriend. You're just playing make-believe. You're playing house with him getting all the benefits. Are you living with a man right now, my dear? Calling him and asking, Hey, honey, what do you want to eat today? What do you want to eat tonight? You're doing the laundry every weekend. What do you want to do? Why? He's already getting all the benefits as a husband. Why would he give you that protection? Why? You've already given it. <laughs> oh, some of you women are so sad. Why didn't you stay at your parents' house? There. You're at your parents' house. They're providing you with everything. <coughs> Not only are they providing you with everything, but you're working. You're able to save some funds. You're, you're rooming with some girls, your girlfriends. You're able to save some funds. And just... <laughs> Can you please tell me why you want, you're living by yourself right now, and you want to, no, but I, I, I don't understand, you're self-sustainable, right, you're okay, you're okay in your parents' house, one thing I know about parents and about fathers, as a daughter, you don't ever have to leave, oh, that's another protection, that's another protection we never talked about, right? Daddy's protection. Your father. Your father. Honey, you never have to leave home. Would dad? If dad could keep you in the house forever, he will. When your father held you in his arms as a baby girl, when he looked down at you, he knew right there and then whatever he has is yours. Well, it's your mama's first, but you understand what I'm saying. When your father looked at you, little girl, right there and then he vowed to do every and anything to protect you. As you're growing up as a toddler, a 
little one. You have no idea how much your father loves you. Why would you leave that protection to go under? None. You think that's what your father wanted for you? I'm asking you a question, woman. Do you think that's what your father wanted for you? It's different if the marriage didn't work out. It's different. But why would you leave the protection of your, of your parents' house? Why would you leave your self-sustaining lifestyle to go move in with a man? Offers you no protection, nothing but some dick that but you can get dick anywhere. You could even get dick in. Do you want? You could get it anywhere. But why not get the dick the protection? Because that's what he's gonna do. You know. Do you know what a man sees when a woman moves in? With him or when you move it. Do you know what a man sees? He sees a body that he can use every day, any way he likes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. If he have a hole, he's going to try to push it there. Your nose, your air. You would say, well, see, see, they don't do that. They don't do that. Why do they try to push it in your bum? Does it go there? Well, they'll try it. They'll do it, won't you? Why are you giving a man your, your body to be used like like, like, like a rag doll without any protection? Let me tell you something, honey. Listen to me. Sir? Oh, okay, you. You want us to move in together? Well, um, I don't. I don't do that. I mean, we can. We can. We can kick it. We can have fun and everything like that. But I don't move in with a man unless he's my husband. But you stay over there, wherever you are. In your mama's house, or you make your own money. Your money is yours, unless we go out and do Dutch, or you want to pay for me. That's fine, no problem. But I, I, I don't, I don't do that. You know, I wouldn't give. See, these are the talks you're supposed to be having with that man. So, see, let me tell you, women, something. I told you, right? If a man can, he will. A man is like an animal. I will say that. Do you know why a dog is a man's best friend? Because they have the same mentality. In other words, you have to train a man in the way you want to be trained. See, if you set a precedent early, if you set the ground rules early as to how he ought to treat you, you won't have the fucking problem, the heartbreak, the <laughs> down the line. You have to make a man want you. Why would a man marry you after he knows that he can fuck you every day, every way, any way he wants? Because you're always there. You're living together. When you're not living together, he's in want. He's in need. Your job as a woman is to make that man want you so fucking badly that he would do anything. You know what he's going to do? Do you know how a man thinks? 
he has to look at a second job. If he has to relax overtime. If he has to give Bob some money. He's doing all of this because he wants you. He not only wants you, he needs you in his life. And he's getting all of his funds together. So you can go through the process of getting married and him getting a place together. Why? Because in the dating process, that is why it's good to date court. I'm going to teach you. You always have to leave a man in want. You think I'm going to have a man? I'm going to cook for him. I'm going to clean for him. I'm going to wash his dirty, shitty drawers. I'm going to have him use every hole in my body. He probably will. Even though, you, you think you're going to have a man as a fucking trampoline on me every fucking day? Because that's what it is, you know? It's going to be every day. And even when you don't feel like it, you don't take no days off with a man, honey! Yeah, bet you didn't know that. Huh? I bet you didn't know that. There's no days off. I mean, down the line. When you say I don't feel like it and you mean it, they'll beg. My God, have you ever seen a man beg? Do you know what you're going to usually do as a wife? As a woman? Guess what? You're going to relent. Men knew this as a little boy. Begging the mother for something. Okay, just go ahead. Just, just, just go ahead. That is what you're going to do as a woman. As a little boy, men have already know what it is to cross the threshold of a woman. They've seen their father done it. They have even tried it. All you have to do is pester a woman long enough and she'll relent. <sighs> Wives everywhere. Look at them. Their bodies have taken a beating. Men are relentless. Men are relentless. The pussy is always right there in front of their face. Just takes a little breeze to get them hard, you know. And I am going to live with something like that. Without no protection. No, sir. No, no. You, you're going to offer me protection. Then, then you can get this anyway, anytime, any way you want. You want some, you want some dinner? How would you like it? When would you like it? I'll have the, the, the house clean. Mm-hmm. Honey, put all your laundry together. Oh, it's so messy. And... But you're going to do that all. As not a wife? Is he successful? <laughs> so you mean to tell me you married a son? Excuse me, you didn't get that far, did you? You're shacking up with a successful man. You say, but oh, he doesn't really have a good job. Everything with his ass, they don't care. I don't care. You, you, you're making all of these excuses. You're making all of these excuses. Don't you know a man knows better than you that when he signs that piece of paper, he's giving up. He's taking on 
He's given up his freedom 